Welcome to Electron Line. So in this video, we're going to determine how to find the center of mass of an object that it has kind of an irregular shape. Again, the center mass is the point where all the mass of the object appears to be concentrated. And the way to go about it is first pick a reference point. So what we want to do is probably put the origin at like the corner of the object and then assume an x and a y axis from that origin. Then divide it into common shapes. So here we have an object that first looks like this, and we want to then subdivide into shapes for which we can very easily find the center mass in both the x and the y direction. So here you can see that if we draw the dividing lines, uh, one here and one there, we now end up with a square and two rectangles. And of course, it's easier to find the center mass of those objects indicated already by those points right there. Then if you have a thin disk, and this is assumed to be a thin disk, then we can use area instead of mass because they're proportional. If you have double the area, we'll have double the mass. So we can use area instead of mass. So then we find the center mass in the x direction as being equal to the sum of the center mass of the x direction in the x direction of each of the three objects, subdivided objects, times the area of each of those divided by the sum of all the areas. So in this case, notice that in the x direction, the center mass would be halfway between there and there because it's a nice square. So it would be 2 times the area, which is 4 by 4 is 16. In the x direction, the center mass to this object, notice it's half between, halfway between 4 and 10, which is 7. And the area that would be 2 by 6, which is 12. And here, the center mass would be halfway between 10 and 14, which is 12. And the area is 6. Uh, 6 by 4, which is 24. And of course, we have all areas, 16 plus 12 plus 24. When you crank that in your calculator, you get 7.77, which is the center mass in the x direction. So notice that would be 7.77, would be right about here. And that gives you the x position of the center mass. Now, you don't know how high it's going to be. Is it going to be on the object? Is it going to be outside the object? You don't know yet. So you do the same thing in the y direction. You find the center mass of each of the three pieces in the y direction. So it would be halfway up would be 2. Halfway up would be 1. Halfway up to 6 would be 3. So you have 2, 1, and 3. The same areas. The areas haven't changed. The total sum of all the areas is still 52. You use your calculator, you get 2.23, which puts the center mass in the y direction along this line somewhere. And where those two lines cross, That's where you find the center mass of the object, which in this case is not actually on the object itself, so you couldn't actually balance the object at that point, but it's still there. It's as if all the mass acts at that particular point. And so there you go. That's how you find the center mass of an irregular shaped object using algebra. Now, sometimes the shapes are such that you need to use calculus to find the center mass, and we'll show you an example of that as well.